Hey guys, it's Boxwire2008 and I am getting the panels, uh, the door panels ready to be uh, sprayed with uh, some chrome or not really chrome, uh, either silver or maybe like a metallic gray uh, to give it that carbon fiber effect or a composite fiber. And to do that, I'm gonna use this. It's a it's a bag from Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know what the hell it is, but I'm gonna cut it up, and I'm gonna use sections of it to uh, just place over the part, and then spray it with the uh, more more than likely it's gonna be a metallic gray, so we could give it that carbon fiber look, and then I'm gonna shoot it with the uh, with the clear. So only the, the parts that are exposed here are going to be the carbon fiber. This one I'm trying it with the uh, green uh, frog tape just to see if it masks a little better. I haven't used it in a while to uh, do my masking. I've been using the, uh, the, the blue 3M tape a lot more. I'm kind of running low so I'm going to pick some up for later all right guys we'll see you in the next clip all right guys uh it's uh january 18th 702 p.m and i already got uh the panels masked off and i already have them underneath the screen they're not really as you know as tight uh fit as i wanted but i'm just gonna go out and give it a shot i'm gonna go with the uh metallic gray which is XF56 if you want to try it out um, then after that I'm gonna hit it with the uh, Tamiya clear coat to give it that shiny look that you see on a uh, composite fiber uh, yeah that's it that's all I'm gonna do right now I got it all set up alright guys I'll see you in the next clip alright guys uh, it's not the effect that I wanted look at that yeah, you can see it there. No. It's not really what I was looking for. And then some of the masking uh, kind of caught the top there. So they didn't get that little edge on top. So that, that was even more disappointing. Actually, no. What was more disappointing is that I used up all my, uh, all my paint. <coughs> Hold on. I apologize guys I was chewing gum and being very unprofessional yeah so I didn't get the effect that I was looking for with the, the screen mesh to get that composite fiber but uh, live and learn I guess uh, the other two kits I'm gonna invest some time and uh, some money and order the uh, decals the composite fiber decals from I think it's slicks. Well, anyways, it's gonna give it a better look. You, you'll see once I start building those again. Uh, but that's it. That's uh, that's what I did with these uh, door panels. Yeah, see, the problem was that the screen wasn't uh, wasn't tight enough on the piece. Yeah, you could kind of see a little bit of the squares there. Can you on this screen on the through the camera? No. No. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna let it uh, completely dry until tomorrow, uh, and then hit it with the uh, with the clear. See if that makes it look any better. But uh, as of right now, I'm not satisfied with what the result was. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, Boxbar2008, and I'm showing you the door panels <clears throat> that I already got taken care of. Uh, the clear really did bring it out uh, more, so uh, if I wasn't satisfied before, you know, the clear really did resurrect the door panel. So let me show you that now. And there we go. I kept the mask on there so that I could uh, individualize 
you know what's going to be the uh, composite fiber and then the uh, the inner door or the inner panel really but it doesn't look that bad now with the clear and it dries fast actually I was surprised that the rattle can dry it so quickly so there it is well you can see that nasty cut I did that was a uh, I got over excited or over eager I don't know what the hell happened there and I cut it with the exacto knife so be very careful when you're doing masking and you're uh, cutting uh, you're cutting off the mask well, there are the door panels now all you gotta do is just give the, the the door handle there just the detail that it needs and we're set we're set to move on uh, I already put all the other stuff away alright guys we'll see you soon hey guys box part 2008 and it looks like I am about 95% close to completion because now I only need to put everything together uh, this is the the roll cage already finished up uh, you can't really see it on the camera oh yeah you can uh, the padding it's already been painted and then everything else is all just semi gloss black here's the uh, the shifter and that's all done and pretty much everything else is just uh, needing some light coats of paint like the body I already finished giving it the the final wet sand uh, you know in the previous video you probably saw that one and I used the uh, white Elmer's glue or school glue to put the uh, the side view mirrors on before I shoot the white paint so that it catches uh, some of that paint on there they have to be the same body color and once that's done I have to go pick up a uh, rattle can of Krylon the semi gloss black and then paint the uh, details to it should look like this let me see if I could get it on hand oh, oh, oh. There we go. Almost dropped apart. All that. That has to be painted uh, semi-gloss black. I might not do that front fender. I might just leave it white. Uh, that's going to be a like last minute decision. But everything else that you see there. And then I also got to do the, uh, the rear lights and the front lights. So, like I said, 95% done. We're almost getting their <laughs> completed kit finally for me. But there's the uh, there's a steering wheel with that cable you see sometimes. Some of the detail for the steering wheel. So it's getting there. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next clip. There it is guys. I already put the roll bars in place. Everything's glued down. I just gotta let it sit for uh, probably a whole day and just let the uh, glue completely cure. It's uh, January 20th, 4.36 p.m. And that's what I've done so far. I already completed the chassis and the uh, cockpit. I still need to put on the door panels. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Other than that, I just gotta complete the body and uh, worry about those decals. I'm not really too confident on my decals, so I'm gonna do it little by little. Put a couple here and there and uh, let them completely dry and then, you know, move on to the next ones. But as of now, the chassis is. Uh, pretty much complete I mean aside from the door panels like I said but everything else is already in place alright guys see you in the next clip